Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Dave, and today's video is going to be covering our BrickLink store slash Brick Owl store, although I, honestly, it's been a busy week. I have not had the opportunity to do anything else with the Brick Owl side of things outside of I did manage to get the verification complete, which really just involved me uploading a copy of my ID as well as my ID, my ID in front of my inventory. Uh, I submitted it for review. It actually didn't take but a few hours to come back as verified. So I do have an operational Brick Owl store. Now, the next steps are going to be finding a synchronization tool. I've started looking into them. I have not downloaded or tried to set one up yet. Maybe that'll be next week's video. Uh, this week, I just did not have time to do that kind of digging. So instead, what we're going to be doing this video is I'm going to cover the orders that have come in this week, some of which have come in from some of the viewers like you. I'm also going to go ahead and share with you a little bit of a sneak peek into what parts are going to be coming to the store. I'm going to say this week because it's hot on my list. I have already parted out these sets that you're going to see in this video. I have not actually added them to the store yet. That's my plan actually following this video is to hopefully take and start that process of getting them added to the inventory. So those sets will be coming soon. If you're interested to see what orders came in, what pieces I sent out, or what sets I've decided to part out and will be coming to the inventory either just before or after this video goes live, stay tuned. I'm going to cover all of that in this video. Now, before I jump into it though, I do want to ask you if you haven't already, please go ahead and click on that like button below and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can be notified of all of my content as it goes live. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these orders. All right, we're back with some more orders here. We got two more orders that I need to process. Uh, this order comes to us from Jason in Minnesota. So thank you very much, Jason, for your order. We've got two of the Weapon Gun Blaster minifigures from Star Wars, as well as a Star Wars, I think it's the TIE Fighter sticker sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and get these pulled and uh, sent out, Jason. So Jason, thank you very much for your order. I guess if everyone else is curious, the order came to $3.08 for the parts. Not a huge order, uh, and the sticker sheets do take me a little bit more time to get packaged up, uh, but I'm happy anyways. So thank you very much, Jason. Really appreciate it. We've got one more order to pack here before I start uh, getting going for the day. This order comes to us from Carson in Ohio. Thank you very much, Carson, for your order. Total of $9.74 plus shipping taxes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this order is for Green Goblin as well as the Spider-Man with uh, printed arms. So we're going to go ahead and pull that real quick. So 2335 is the first one. That's going to be over here in our newer drawers. There we go. There's our Spider-Man figure. And then coming back over here, we have the Green Goblin 545. So, oh boy, that's all the way up there. And as you can see, once again, my area is becoming to be overrun. So, I need to shift this stuff out of the way. I need to come over here and get this ladder. Work my way back over here. Folks, I can't stress enough the importance of making sure your stuff is accessible. This is just such a slowdown having to do this. So here we go. We've got one of these that we're going to grab. Very strategically. And put the drawer back. Swink. There we go. So this completes Carson's order. So thank you very much, Carson, for your order. I really appreciate it. This will go out in the mail today, and uh, you should see it in just a few days. The orders are definitely hot this month, and uh, we have another order from our good buddy, Zach. So thank you to Lego Homes for your order. Lego Homes knows how to do it for sure. Look at all those X's going down the sheet. X, 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 X. He's clearing out the lot. So 
Total of 309 items across 17 different lots. Total of $45.23. So uh, this one's going to take a little bit to get packed up. But I'm going to go ahead and jump on that right now. Um, we've got some drawers to visit for sure. I'm going to use the little trays to help make it a little bit easier. And uh, we'll uh, come back to show you everything once I've pulled it. Okay, we have Zach's order all pulled now. Quick rundown of the pieces. We got some 1x2 dark tans. We have a ton of the 1x4, I think it's medium uh, blue. And then we have a bunch of these uh, 6x8 plates. We have uh, some of these cool little grilled uh, cylinder 2x2s. We have a really long 2x something, 16 I believe. We've got a whole slew of like 2x12s, as well as the inverted uh, brown slopes. We've got some kind of corner brackets here, 2x2 modified plates. We have some 4x4 dark blues. We have some 2x8 dark blues. We have some 2x4 dark blues. We have some 3x3 dark blues. We have some, I forget what they call these. Uh, anyways, it's like a 2x10, uh, no, 2x6. It's like a 2x6 with rounded edges. We've got a, I think they call these door slides or something like that, rails. Uh, so we got a couple of those in the tan. We have this, this is like one of my favorite pieces. It's this cool gold and blue speckled helmet. I just love this thing. It came from an Atlantis set, if I recall. Um, I actually got that during a, oh gosh, what do they call that? Not a part out. It was like a, a draft. Oh my gosh, I forget what they call it. Anyways, it's like a, a draft part out uh, thing at a convention. Uh, so that was a really cool piece. Lastly, uh, we have, and I haven't pulled these ones out of the drawers yet, but we have all of the red cherries and all of the uh, dark bluish uh, trans uh, one by two tiles. Time to get these all packed up and bundled up, ready to go. Zach, thank you very much for your order, man. I really appreciate it, and uh, I can't wait to see what you build with it. It's been a little bit, but I'm back to the pile. I've had a lot of large orders coming through the BrickLink store here recently, and it's time to replenish some pieces. So we've got the Wonder Woman set. Uh, what's this number? 77906. And then we've got the Trolls uh, Volcano Rock Concert, set number 41254. Got five of the Trolls set. Two of the Wonder Woman set. Wife and I are in here. We're going to watch some of The Office. While uh, she ends up printing a bunch of labels for her orders, I'm going to go ahead and part these out. New pieces coming to the store here soon. Hopefully, they're already in there by the time you guys see this video. i got to get this table set up. Get these parted out. I'll check in at the end. And finally, two hours later... We have the stack of Trolls, Rock, uh, whatever volcano thingy, all five of those done. And then down here we had the very simple Wonder Woman set done. Took a total of two hours and we got through four of the offices. So we're going to be moving into uh, Season 2, Episode 19 of The Office. I, I have already seen all of these, but we're having a fun time going through them again. And I now have a ton more parts that need to get added to the inventory. So thankfully they're parted out and that'll help offset the large number of orders that I got. Thanks to some of my friends like uh, Papa Bear and Zach Holmes. So thank you to everyone who's placed orders in the store and for supporting us. And hopefully you find value in some of these new pieces coming soon. So I'm down here in the basement trying to figure out which set I'm going to part out next. You probably saw earlier in this video, I think, uh, if not it was last week's, that I parted out the Rock Volcano Troll set. I need a duck under this. As well as the Wonder Woman set. So I do have this still on the chopping block, one of the Ninjago sets. But I think that might be down to like some of my last part out from the last pile. It's a little hard to tell because Scott was playing with a lot of them. Uh, I guess technically I do have this Duplo one, but I'm not going to do much with this. I'm just going to list that. We are going to watch another episode of The Office. This set's not going to take that long to part out. Well, 
We'll probably watch a couple episodes of The Office, to be honest. So that one's not going to end up taking that long. So I'm almost thinking I may need to find a different set to part out. And I'm having a hard time figuring out which one. I don't want to take something old because I'm going to be hopefully using those to get some good ROIs. But I haven't looked up some of the new stuff. I, I think I've got an idea. I need to look up a part out value. So let's go look up this part out value together and uh, see what we can pull from a value. I got it typed in. We got a part out value. We're going to look up set 75310. This one might not even be entered yet. Let me see. I'm actually going to go back. I forgot to include extra pieces. I forgot to uncheck the instructions. Man, I just keep botching this. Okay, here we go. We got Duel on Mandalore. We've got average of the last six months, $42.41. $47 currently. I'm going to go ahead and say that that might be a win because I do have multiples of these sets. It's not massive. Let's go ahead and check real quick. Catalog entry. Let's see. So we have two figures in here. And let's start with Darth Maul. We can see that Darth Maul... I'm going to go to the USA. Uh, I guess I'm not going to worry about condition right now. So the cheapest ones on these are around $9. So that's almost half the set value. Uh, I might even be able to get uh, closer to that 10 So we, we might end up doing that. Let's go back and check to see uh, Ahsoka. Ashoka, Ahsoka, something like that. USA, search. And here we're at around 650 or so. So just between the two figures, I'll probably end up pulling the majority of the value of the set back out if I sell those. So with that in mind, I am going to go ahead and part those out. So let's go grab those. So those are part of this new pile over here. We've got set number 75310. We have one, two, three of those. I was going to keep these. But because I have quantity three of them at the moment, it's it's going to be a good candidate to part out. It's going to give me some more pieces. The figures are going to be great. This particular set is going to be on shelves for a while yet. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take that up. I'm going to take the Ninjago set up over there. And I'm going to leave the submarine down here. But I will post it next time I add my pieces. I'm going to get upstairs and get parting out. I'll check in and tell you what I'm uh, excited about in the office. We are nearly ready. Got my three Star Wars sets. I've got my Ninjago set. We've got our uh, little sorting bins and trays here. And we have The Office coming up. What episode are we on? We are on Season 2, Episode 19. Go ahead and go down. Oh, sorry. That kind of works, too. I think it'll pop up. There we go. We are on Michael's Birthday of The Office on Peacock. And we have another order here. This order comes to us from Jeremy in Virginia. So thank you very much, uh, Jeremy, for your order. Uh, Jeremy has ordered five items across four different lots for a total of $13.51. You can see we have more of these Ongi or Angai, as well as two of the white string ropes. So let's go ahead and pull these here. So we've got 1327 is going to be our first drawer. So we've got, oh boy, i got to climb, don't I? 1327's up here. Go figure that that's uh, what would happen, is that the very first drawer was going to be all the way up here. 1327. So we got one, and we have two of the cool little web strings. Back down the stairs. Next, we've got 23, 29, 30, and 31. We've been through this before. So 23, 29. There's one. 23, 30. There's two. 23, 31. There's three. The last of our Ongai, Ongi, whatever they are. So I'm going to go ahead and get these bagged up. Thank you very much to Jeremy for your order. I appreciate the support. Here are all the sets parted out. We've got all of our Ninjago in there. We got our Star Wars in there. Over here, we also have the um, 
troll set, the rock, the legend, volcano, fancy, smancy thing, uh, as well as the Wonder Woman set. Uh, I do also have this Duplo set that I haven't featured yet, really, but uh, that thing I need to get added as well. So this is on my next to hit list. I'm going to get these added in right now. I appreciate you all sticking around this late in the video. If you've made it this far, go ahead and comment in the section below, Yellow Submarine, so that I know that you stuck around to watch all of our video. I hope you all enjoyed this content, and I look forward to sharing more content just like this with you in upcoming videos. You guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.